again YouTube Enzo back bringing you another video review and today it is the turn of Transformers Classics Sideswipe. There he is and first thing I've got to say is what a gorgeous looking red Lamborghini. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I was trying to find this figure for quite a while and uh, his uh, brother Sunstreaker couldn't get him on eBay, couldn't find him in the shops, I was gutted and then one day just happened to see him sitting there uh, in a car boot sale with Sunstreaker and a few other bits and bobs and I couldn't resist it. Made a deal with a gentleman and I picked a load of them up. Absolutely fantastic. Um, oh, love, lovely looking uh, uh, vehicle mode and a lovely looking uh, robot mode. The, the, the best of both worlds. Does have some slight signs of wear. Basically, you know, he's been a child's play thing for a, for a while before I able, was able to get hold of him. So he's got a few little nicks, a few little th uh, you know, things not quite fit in there, but you'll see more of that in robot mode. He's got swipe there on the back of his uh, number plate. Lovely moulded in uh, details here. Or oh, what can I say? Proper, proper uh, Lambo. Absolutely brilliant. He rolls, not any trouble whatsoever. Uh, not too much, you know, it's, it's good, to, oh, you can see shoulders and arms laid, but you know, apart from that, he's completely flat. And yeah, he's just absolutely fantastic. I think he's an absolute gem. Quick size comparison. Uh, here's Galvatron. I know, tank versus a Lamborghini should be a lot bigger. But you can just see there how they sort of like uh, scale together as uh, classics. And let's just bring in a generation. So we'll just bring back Springer, who I just happen to have in Camwood. So you can see, yeah, Armour Car is a little bit bigger. Plus he's a uh, Voyager size. But um, I think they scale uh, pretty good together. There we go. So, uh, it does come with a few accessories. We'll just pop this off at the top there. Uh, the engine block which basically translates to his jetpack in robot mode and then come underneath here, pull the exhaust off which doubles up as his gun yeah, it's okay, it's not too bad and what you can do is if you put the gun like that underneath it and fold it in, it doesn't really clip all that well but when it does, so if you can get it in the right position there's another way if you to uh, hold it so it kind of looks, let me just get it right now it's not the best gimmick in the world, if I'm honest, but it's okay. And then you can have the gun like that, which is okay. But I prefer to have him just holding the pistol and have this as a backpack. So, there we are. So, transformation into robot mode is, you want to split the rear of the car like that, like so. And this bit requires quite a bit of force, so don't be scared about breaking it, but obviously just be careful when you do it at the same time. You need to basically wiggle it apart till you get the panels free, and then just fold everything out. Sometimes, I think this is where most of the damage has been caused by the previous owner or the child or whoever else was, was using or had this figure before me. So just basically fold everything out, and he is quite stiff, which is a good thing. So just fold everything out like that. And then you've got the legs, just make sure that those bumpers are well out of the way. Turn the figure around like that, so the wheels and the bumper are facing you. Like that. And this is where you need nails. I haven't got nails, so I'm using a screwdriver. The feet are in here. So I'll just try and get an angle. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to pull down on these little white tabs, pull it out. Uh, I've tried, I can't get them, so I've tried and tried and tried, so I'm just going to use uh, this little screwdriver just to give me a little bit of uh, um, clearance there, and then I can just reach in and pull out the feet and point them the right way. Same again on this side, let me just get in there with a the tool, fold it out, lovely, set that off to the side, bring them down, just got to watch because there's, there's a lot of moulding in detail in there, and then once you get everything out, bring the knee pads forward, orientate the feet forward like that, and that's uh, the lower half of side swipe. Then what you want to do is rotate them at the waist, bring them all the way around like that. Grab the top end of the vehicle and pull it. Grab grab his waist, grab the top, and just pull it straight out like that. Then you can start by folding up the arms. Just basically pull everything out. Just 
pull them all out so the wheels go inside like that. Just pull them out like that. There we go. Job done. And then straighten everything out. Why are you not? Uh, there we go. Make sure everything's out like that. Then fold up this little part here just to give yourself a bit of room because that'll be his waist. Um, you're on a hinge, hinges everywhere really. So you want to fold that down like that and then fold the front of the car in to let it peg it into place like that. And then just rotate the shoulders up. They're on these little swivels like that. Just rotate it up like that and then straighten out the arms. And the door panels are on hinges and levers, so you can have these any way you want. Uh, I personally prefer to bring them up like that, push them in, make sure the fist is facing the right way. Same again with this side, just bring it around, swing the door panel around, push it in, make sure the fist is facing the right way. And that's it. And then for the last reveal, grab over to the back, spin it around, which I think is cool, and then one, two, three, da, da, da. there is a side swipe in robot mode. And I think you'll all agree he looks absolutely freaking cool. Very, very, very cool. I like this figure a hell of a lot. I tried to track him down. I don't know how long it took me, but I got him. And when I got him and I had him in hand, I thought, oh, yes, I like this one. And then he would just take uh, the backpack and tab it in there like that, close it down so that lad has his check back and then you just put the pistol in hand and there we go and if you've got the Fans Project G3 trailer, which I do you also get this little bonus accessory which is his chrome missile launcher and there's two holes at the top you can basically plug him in anywhere you want so I'll plug him in there for now and there we go that is side swipe in robot mode absolutely awesome absolutely cool i cannot recommend this figure enough if you can get it get it you will not be disappointed he's brilliant anybody know who's had the g1 either sun streaker side swipe or red alert because there's three different molds um the versions of this mold and they're all completely different you will not be disappointed Brilliant. I do apologise if you can see some dust on him. Yeah, he has been in storage, as I've said, but still absolutely cool. I mean, that head sculpt is just gorgeous. That's just screaming sides, right? That's just screaming. Oh, I just think it's brilliant. Out of all the classics, I think that is the best head sculpt I have seen. And a nice big Octobot symbol there right on his chest. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant figure. Um, head is on a ball joint. So, and... Again, I, I'm still waiting for my for my light, but I hope you can see that a little bit there now. I mean, his blue eyes do light up. If you've got a good light source, bang, just super, super blue. Looks absolutely brilliant. Um, you can see a little bit of damage in there compared to the other shoulder. There's more plastic on this side than there is on this side, because that's why this arm feels a lot more looser and this arm feels a lot more tighter. But still, it's a, it's a cracking figure, cracking figure. Anyway. Head on a ball joint can move like that. Ball joint is shoulders, so they can move all over the place unhindered. Um, that's as far as they're going to go in and out. Not too bad. They've got a mushroom cap uh, upper bicep swivel for the transformation. You've got a double uh, joint in the elbow there, so he can do, he can basically almost touch his own shoulder, which is cool. Uh, the wrists, mushroom caps again, so they can swivel, which is a good thing because. Um, on uh, Sun Streaker, basically, well, I'll do the Sun Streaker review now at a later date, but I'll show you basically what, what I mean by, you know, why why it's necessary for to have the um, wrists being able to move. Uh, waist articulation, yep, yeah, you can go all the way down like that. Um, this panel can move, it's on a hinge at the top there, so it can move it, so it's not hindered at all. So good waist articulation there. Hips are on ball joints. Very, very stiff ball joints, I'm happy to say. Just, because, just due to the moulding on the hips there, obviously you can't go in and out too much, but still a really good range of motion there. You can bend at the knee, there's a lower thigh swivel, which is cool, and then ball jointed feet and a little bit of an ankle tilt there just due to the transformation. So you're gonna get if you want to get some really good action poses, 
you can he's not gonna if you long, long as you get him right he's gonna get him in a good action pose and he is gonna stay there you know he can even almost reach his missile launcher so i think that's a really good action pose there um ah just 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 a brilliant figure just a really good figure all, all around i mean just just get him if you can get just get him i i, I can't recommend this figure enough to he's just awesome uh quick uh, comparison let's uh bring in uh cyclonus so you can have a good look at these two together um I would say side swipes is still a little bit bigger than him. I know I, the bending and easier than imposes, but I think generally overall, I think side swipe is the bigger, definitely the bulkier figure. Um, he might even be a hair taller. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I think he might be a little bit hair taller. But still, absolutely cracking figure to have. And just one more comparison. Uh, let's bring in Fans Project's uh, Munitioner, aka Swindle. So you can see basically this is a Hasbro Deluxe and this is a Fans Project uh, Deluxe. So uh, yeah, um, I would have liked it if uh, you know, Swindle was a little bit bigger, but hey, you know, never mind. Ideally they should be the same, but when he combines into Bruticus, hey, I'm not going to complain. So there's that comparison as well. Um, cracky figure, I love the details, uh, the blue eyes, and he's got the blue on the hips. Uh, with the white as well, all the colours work well together. That head sculpt is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. That is sideswipe. Absolutely brilliant. Lots of articulation. The figure feels absolutely solid in hand. Um, there's no, no no much. There's no uh, backpack things like that. And you can you don't have to have these on. You can you can take it off if you want. But uh, I prefer him to have his jetpack. So I just leave that on there like that. Doesn't matter if you lose this part. If you lose it, it doesn't doesn't hinder anything at all, you know. But I think that looks absolutely gorgeous. Very very good figure and a super super upgrade uh, and a really good nice take a nice modern take on the classics G1 sideswipe. So yeah, if you can get him, get him. I highly recommend this figure too. He is fantastic. Playability is good. Uh, the transformation is is um, satisfying as well. Um, there's all different things you can do with these panels. You can move them around to have them wherever you want. Absolutely um, am amazing figure. He is cool. The only thing I'm not too keen about is the gaps here. But I can, they're there for the transformations. You can fold it up, so it's not too much of a of a, of a deal breaker. And he just looks absolutely cool. Very, very, very cool. So. That's my review of Transformers Classics uh, Sideswipe. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please comment, rate and subscribe. If there is anything out there you'd like me to view, review on the Classics line, please drop me a comment, let me know, and I will get onto that as soon as possible. Um, I've just ordered Fans Project's Clumpio, because I'm going to start collecting the Dinobots next now, because um, I think they fit in really well with the Classics line. And I've also ordered Generations uh, Roadbuster as well, so I'm hoping to bring those reviews to you uh, in the next uh, week or so. So again, thank you very much, thanks for watching, and I will see you all again soon. Thank you, ta -da.